What's going on everybody? I'm back with another high risk coin brusher video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a 20 million dollar buy-in and they're actually letting us bring our own quarters from previous games today. We got a thousand of them. Well actually 1100 of them because they gave us an extra 100 quarters since we did that uh, 20 million dollar buy-in. So wish me good luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with a brand new world record win. My goodness, they got this thing loaded up fantastically well today. Looks like an enormous wall of poker chips. It's made out of $1,000 chips, $10,000 chips, and $5,000 chips. They got three enormous quarter pyramids up front. We're going to call that a triple pyramid. And let's see, there's two more quarter pyramids on the blue shelf, so we might be able to win them later on. We'll see. Let's see how the game goes. And there's so many gold towers in there today, and there's a whole bunch of gold and ten thousand dollar chips back there on the pusher i can see a couple mr bags in there my goodness oh yeah well we got two of the quarter pyramids to crash down already yeah that's going to give us a whole bunch of quarters whenever that great big pyramid falls down come on nice push oh yeah oh my goodness well one of them towers on the pusher slid backwards Oh yeah, getting a whole bunch of quarters on the left side there. Come on, big push. Oh my goodness, wow, that was a fabulous push right there. Got a boatload of quarters on that one. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, that big old pyramid of chips, it's about ready to go. Any moment now, come on, nice push. Well, I tell you what, let's get that loot chute cleared out real quick. Nice, we got it. Well, the left-hand side of it and the center fell out of there, but there's still a whole bunch of that pyramid standing on the right side. So let's focus on the right side. Try to get all that out of there. There's a whole bunch of five and ten thousand dollars chips on the edge and gold bars. Oh yeah, that was a spectacular push shot right there. So anyhow, there was a dark blue mystery bag. I think that's up front here, about ready to go. And I think y'all can see the brown mystery bag. It's behind that tower. There's a pink mystery bag on that right blue shelf and a red mystery bag on the left blue shelf. So four mystery bags in there in total today. Oh yeah, nice. We got that pyramid on the right side to go. Sweet. That mystery bag's getting pretty close. There's a whole bunch of gold on the edge. This is doing phenomenal today so far. Yeah, and the gold bars, those are worth whatever one ounce of gold is at the moment. I think they're around like $1,945 an ounce. Well, that's what the spot price of gold was yesterday. And they have somebody can let me know the exact spot price of a one ounce gold bar down in the comments section. I would highly appreciate that. Nice, we got the remaining uh, pyramid on the right side to go. That is phenomenal. Nice, and we got the brown mystery bag on top of that. Let's get that loot chute emptied out again. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's not good to let that loot chute get too piled up because a lot of times money will start to fall back to the house. And I uh, wouldn't get a winner keep any of that money. It would go to the exact same place as those gutters on the sides would, so. And that money would go to the house also. But sometimes they will have a $50 chip in there, and if I win that $50 chip, we get to cash it in. And uh, they will take everything that's fallen down the side slots or falling down into their loot box, and they'll put it back into the play field and pretty much give us a second chance at winning it. So we got two mystery bags so far, and there was four mystery bags in there in total. So I guess we got four chances of getting that $50 chip today. Or who knows, it might have been hidden underneath the quarters or something. Or it might have been hidden inside one of them towers. Or it could have been combined with the rest of those chips. You never know. Well, normally they'll have the special chips like the $50 chip and the mystery bags or something. So we'll check out those mystery bags here in just a few minutes. I'd like to try to get those remaining chips on the right-hand side, though. Looks like there's a thousand dollars on the left side, too. So let's try to get that. Yeah, this game is going spectacular today so far. I don't even think we've been playing 10 minutes yet, and we already pretty much got the whole entire machine cleared out. I mean, there's still tons of towers on the blue shelves. Might be able to win those later on. We'll see. See how the game goes. It's going amazing so far. 
Oh yeah, another five grand to add to the pile. Come on, nice push. And also, while you're at it, take a guess down in the comments. And let me know what you think might be inside of those two mystery bags that were just worn. Hopefully it's something really, really nice and valuable. I mean, it should be loaded up fantastically well considering the buy-in. $20 million buy-in today was super, super expensive. And also, take a guess down in the comments section and let me know how much money you think we're going to make back today. Hopefully we can make a whole bunch of money profit on this game right here because we're down quite a bit of money at the moment. I'll talk more about that later on. Well, we only got a couple quarters left in the basket, so if we don't get that last uh, two grand on the right side, I guess we'll go ahead and call it quits. All right, well, that right there was the last for quarters, so let's go ahead and open up both of them mystery bags. Alrighty, I'm back, so let's go ahead and open up both of these mystery bags. So let's see, which one should we start with? Let's see, I'll let you all decide. I feel like a bunch of you all are telling me to open up the brown one first, so let's go ahead and open this one up. This one feels like it's loaded up incredibly well, so let's see, what do we get? Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got two of the baby dice. Each one of these is a five times multiplier, so this right here is automatically 10 times my winnings. That is absolutely exceptional right there. And we also got the $5 chip, two $1 chips, the $50 chip, and the $10 chip. So this $5 chip right here, we get to cash this in. They will take all those towers that are on the blue shelves and they'll put them into the play field somewhere. And the $50 chip, we get to cash this in at the end of the game. They will take anything that's fallen down the side slots and they'll put it back into the play field. And this $10 chip right here, this right here is pretty much worth one free tower. I get to cash this in and they'll let me spin a wheel and that wheel has all these different types of chip values on there. And whatever it lands on, that's what type of brand new tower they'll build somewhere in the play field. And both of these $1 chips right here are worth 500 free quarters each. So this right here is an extra 1,000 quarters. That is absolutely remarkable. That mystery bag was loaded up fantastically well. So now let's go ahead and move on to this dark blue mystery bag. Hopefully this one is loaded up just as good, if not better. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got two of the white dice. The white dice, we get to roll these at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by those numbers. Let's go ahead and cash in the $10 chip and both of those $1 chips, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, Andy Coin Brusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $10 chip and both of them $1 chips. It gave me an extra thousand quarters, and we got to spin that wheel, and today it landed on one ounce gold bars. As you can see, they built a ginormous spiral tower of gold in there. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a spiral tower of gold before. I've seen a spiral tower of chips. Not a gold tower like that. That is super, super unique. That is insanely cool. Let me know what y'all think about it down in the comments. Now that looks incredible. So I don't think that'll give us too much of an uphill battle. It seems to be moving forward pretty quick. It's already hanging over the pressure just a little bit. Nice, it's tilting forward. So, I think now would be a good time to use that skill stop button and load up a whole bunch of quarters at once. Now this game is going by pretty quick today. Now, we still got to cash in that $5 chip and they'll take all that stuff that's on the blue shelves and they'll put it into the play field. Hopefully they put all them towers in pretty easy spots because if they put any of the towers on the corners or the sides, then it would take a long time for those towers to crash down. And if you're wondering why, it's because if there's any weight or pressure built up on the corners over there, the quarters are just going to take the easiest route or the easiest path of travel, whatever you want to call it. And that would either be around the tower or it would be down those gutters. Oh my gosh, nice. Nice, we got that gigantic tower of gold to crash down. I'd say that was every bit of like 120, 130 ounces of gold. That's just my guess anyway. And take a look at those enormous towers of gold they got on the blue shelf. Each one of them towers, that's a whole bunch of gold. Now like I said, the gold bars are worth about 1,900 and uh, $45 an ounce right there. And if you're wondering what I do with all the gold that I win, I normally just save it all, keep it in a safety deposit box. I've heard the gold bars are going to skyrocket in value over the next like two or three years. I've heard they may even go up to like $26, $27, $2,800 an ounce. 
gold and silver, both of those are going up, so I try to save as much gold as I can. Come on, nice push. Well, we just about got the whole entire machine cleared out. There's only, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six ounces of gold left. Well, now there's only five. Yeah, I'd say we've maybe been playing like 15 minutes so far. So this game is going by pretty quick compared to normal. Yeah, normally we'd have like probably an hour and a half wrapped up in the game by now, but we've only been playing, let's see what the camera says, uh, 48 minutes and 59 seconds. So hasn't been that long. Like I said, normally we'd probably have like an hour and a half wrapped up in the game by now. So anyhow, we got it all cleared out of there, and it looks like we accidentally put a $50 chip, not a $50 chip, but a $5,000 chip back in there. So whenever I cash in the $5 chip, they will get that out of there and give that back to me. So anyhow, let's go ahead and cash in that $5 chip, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a and coin brush, your has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $5 chip. They took all those towers that was on the blue shelves. And they put them all into the play field. Looks like they took the majority of those gold towers and combined them into like one gigantic tower of gold back there on the pusher. That's fine with me. I mean, that's less chance of losing some of the gold to the blue shelf if they're all combined into like one great big old tower. Because sometimes if they put like multiple towers back there on the pusher, we end up losing a bunch of stuff to the blue shelves, and then it would cost us 100 grand to get it back. So I think now would be a good time to use the skill stop button, load up a whole bunch of quarters at once because there's, let's see, two $10,000 chip towers and two $5,000 chip towers on the corners right now. So I think we're facing a major uphill battle if we don't go ahead and start stacking up the quarters because my goal is to get a large base of quarters built up behind all them towers and then that really, really speeds up the process of winning them. So put another handful of quarters in there and then I will release the skill stop. Come on, nice push. Oh yeah, that gold tower's losing gold bars at the base of that tower. That's a pretty good sign right there that we're about to get that tower any moment now. Come on, nice push. Well, we got that uh, $1,000 chip tower right there in the center. And uh, let's see, they put the two gold dice right there on top of that tower. Y'all can see those. And I think you all seen that pink mystery bag that was in there. I can see it from where I'm standing. And I would assume they put that red mystery bag down in there also. That's yeah, the only place it could be. I'm not seeing the red mystery bag anywhere else. Oh yeah, big push. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's that red mystery bag, you see it? It's right there at the bottom of that tower. Oh yeah, I got another gold bar. Oh yeah, jackpot baby, nice. That was a brilliant push right there. That's what I'm talking about. Look at all that gold we're winning. Goodness gracious. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a massive win for a $20 million buy-in. So let's get that loot chute cleared out real quick. Don't want to end up losing anything. Oh yeah, we got both of them gold dice so far. And nice, we got that red mystery bag. Sweet. So back to talking about what I was saying a few minutes ago. Uh, so, like I said, we're down a lot of money at the moment. I played uh, two other games before this one today, and both of those games was losing games, unfortunately. Let's see, I'm trying to remember how the first game went. I think the first game was a $50 million buy-in with a uh, 50 quarter challenge, I'm pretty sure. And I put all 50 of them quarters in there, and we'd get a couple quarters back, and I put those quarters in. I think we only made like couple hundred thousand dollars off of that game so we ended up losing a whole bunch on that first game right there then the second game I played it was a five million dollar buy-in with a one quarter challenge and I bought in a couple of times I finally got it to go but still I think, I think we got the whole entire machine cleared out though I mean you'd think that would be a winning game right there but um, I think we had won like four or five of the white dice and like two of the gold dice or something Literally, I'm not kidding when I say this. All of those white dice except for one landed on ones. Like, only one of the white dice landed on a two. So, we only got to multiply our winnings by two. 
I think we only pulled like, let's see, two million dollars in chips out of there. So we ended up losing a whole bunch of money. Come on, nice push. Oh yeah, that great big old tower, 5,000 all the chips on the right side. It's about ready to go. But yeah, I think we spent like 30 million dollars on that second game. So as of right now, we're down close to 63, 64 million dollars. So we need to at least make 63 or 64 million profit on this game right here to break even for the day. So we're down quite a bit of money at the moment. And I've been here probably about eight hours now. So by the time we finish this game right here, I'll probably have been here like 11 hours. I mean, that's all right though. I try to stay here as long as I can, trying to get a winning video for you all. So anyhow, that right there is the last of our quarters. So let's go collect the quarters and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it pushing. So I had two more baskets of quarters sitting on the ground. I just picked those up and set them on top of the machine. Yeah, I'd say we've got pretty close to 44, 4,500 quarters now. So we got a decent amount of quarters. Hopefully that's enough to get the whole entire machine cleared out. But we're going to have to put a bunch of quarters in there. We're going to get those $10,000 chip towers that are on the corners. Because if you've seen previous videos, y'all will know that it takes a long time to get those towers on the sides. Even while using the skill stop button. Like I said, before we started using that skill stop button, it would take anywhere from three to eight hours to get the towers on the sides to fall down but uh, now that we started using the skill stop it only takes like 30 minutes to three hours so it's still a pretty good amount of time trying to get the towers and like I've said it's a total game changer and a bunch of you all suggested the skill stop technique down in the comments so once again thank you all so much for suggesting that I truly appreciate it so uh, once we get a large base of quarters built up behind those $10,000 chip towers, they should start moving forward. I'm going to try like two more rounds after this, and if it doesn't get them towers, I'll probably just go ahead and open up them other two mystery bags and cash in that $50 chip. How does that sound? Because I don't want anyone to get bored with just the quarters falling down. I know that can get boring for the majority of y'all, so like I've said, I try to keep these videos as entertaining as possible how to make the best content out there. I know the majority of y'all like to see the big buy-in videos. So that's why I make them. And let me know if you'd want to see more videos like this. If y'all want to see like $10 million buy-ins all the way up to $150 million buy-ins. Or would you want to see like more than $100 million buy-ins? Like would you want to see a $200 million buy-in? Half a billion dollar buy-in? Just uh, let me know what types of videos y'all would want to see down in the comments. And I'll try my best to make it happen. And would you want to see like more 1,000 quarters at once videos? 2,000 quarters at once? Well, I thought of a pretty good idea the other day. Let me know what you think about it. I thought about putting the maximum amount of quarters in there at one time using that skill stop button. Like keep on stacking it up so it can't go any higher. So uh, let me know if you'd want to see that video. I have a pretty good feeling that it's going to completely destroy that plexiglass back there. So I'm going to talk to the manager about it first before I try that. But anyhow, that right there is the last of our quarters. So let's go collect the quarters and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. So before we continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and open up one of these mystery bags. So let's see, which one should we start with? I think we should start with this pink mystery bag first. This one feels like it's loaded up pretty well. The red one is definitely the heaviest one, so we'll open up that one later on. But let's see what we get. Oh my goodness, wow, we got two more white dice. That is phenomenal. So let's see, that makes uh, four of the white dice that we've won in total, plus the two baby dice. So like I said, the regular white dice, we get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by those numbers. But the baby dice, both of those put together, is automatically ten times my winnings. So, for example, say I have won like um, ten million dollars in chips at the end of the game. Just those baby dice alone will turn that ten million dollars into a hundred million dollars. So, this very well could be a brand new world record win today. Each chip, like each ten thousand dollar chip multiply that by 10 so each ten thousand dollar chip is basically a hundred grand and that's not counting the other dice that we get to roll at the end of the game those are just going to multiply our winnings that much more 
so I definitely think this is going to be a good game today, but we still got to make all that money back that we lost earlier. All right, well, let's keep on trying to get these $10,000 chip towers out of here. Like I said, I'm going to try a couple more rounds. Or wait, one more round after this one. Yeah, earlier I said I'd try two more rounds, so this is the first round right here. Then the next round we'll make the second one, then we'll go ahead and call it quits. I'm dropping a bunch of quarters on the floor, but let's just keep on stacking this thing up. See how we're getting a nice base of quarters to build up behind them towers? Here in a few minutes, those towers should start moving forward, I would say. Yeah, those towers still have a long ways to go, to be honest with you. So I don't know. We may or may not get them on this round right here. I mean, worst case scenario, say if we don't win them on this round, whenever I cash in that uh, $50 chip, they'll probably just leave them towers in the exact same position as they're in now. Like, it's not like they're going to take them out of there or anything. They would definitely leave them towers in there. Or they may even rearrange those towers and put them in different locations. So that would actually be better. So actually, after this round right here, if we don't get them towers, I'll just go ahead and open up that red mystery bag and cash in the $50 chip. I don't want anyone to get bored with just quarters falling down. But yeah, let's keep it pushing for now. Tower on the right side seems like it's moved a lot more than the one on the left. Oh yeah, the tower on the right just moved forward a whole bunch right there. Did you see that? Nice, it moved again. Well, we may end up getting that tower. You never know. Keeps on moving forward like that. Yeah, I'm telling you, loading up the quarters like that and getting a whole bunch of quarters built up behind them towers really, really helps them move forward. I mean, we proved that hundreds of times already. And it's all thanks to you all suggesting it down in the comments, so... Thank you all so much for suggesting that technique. I highly appreciate it. Oh yeah, getting tons of quarters right there in the center. I may do slow motion waterfalls on those quarters falling down later on whenever I'm editing. We'll see. That might keep the quarters falling down more entertaining, I guess. I know a lot of y'all like to see the slow motion waterfalls. Oh yeah, that was a nice push right there. Come on, big money. Well, I don't know. Should we try one more round? Them towers are pretty close now. Nah, I think we'll go ahead and cash in that $50 chip because like I said, they'll probably just leave them in that exact same position. So let's go ahead and open up that red mystery bag. Here it is. So like I said, this one felt a little bit more heavier than the pink mystery bag. So let's see, what do we get? Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. We got three more gold dice. That is exceptional. Might be a new record win for the gold today also. So anyhow, let's go ahead and cash in that $50 chip and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a and coin busher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $50 chip. They took everything that had fallen down in their loot box today and they put it all back into the play field. Looks like they took all those chips and gold that was down there and combined them all into like one ginormous spiral tower of chips and gold back there on the moving platform. That's probably one of the most unique towers I've seen in there before. And they put one of the gold towers on the blue shelf, so more than likely, there's either a $5 chip or a red earbud hidden in there somewhere. If we win it, we get to cash it in. We'll move that gold tower to the play field. Normally, after we cash in that $50 chip, if they put the tower sock on the blue shelf, they'll always give you a $5 chip or a red earbud. That way you can win that tower later on. Cause that wouldn't be fair cashing in that $50 chip and then putting chips on the blue shelf and making you uh, pay an extra hundred grand to get it. So more than likely that uh, $5 chip or red earbud is hidden in there somewhere. We'll see later on. Nice, we got both of them mystery bags right there. Sweet. And I don't know if they put the mystery bags in there or if like somebody else has lost that because the loot chute got too full because there's no way a mystery bag could fit down one of them side slots. There's no way possible. Not even the smaller mystery bags could fit down in there. But uh, people can lose mystery bags because of that loot chute getting too full. I mean, it's happened to me before several times, so... 
I'm saying that it is possible for somebody to lose a mystery bag that way. I mean, that's pretty unfortunate if you think about it, because think about it, it's like already fallen over the edge, and you lose it because that loot chute got too full. It would be super unfortunate to lose a mystery bag that way. Now, well, that tower on the blue shelf, I'm a little bit worried about it because the base of it is starting to fall out way back there. It, the base of that tower should be falling off of there up front, but it's falling off of there in the back. So that tower may end up sliding backwards, and we may lose some of it to the blue shelf. I mean, hey, even if we do, more than likely the $5 chip of red earbud is sitting in there anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Plus, they still left those uh, $10,000 chip towers on the side, so hopefully we can get them. Oh my goodness, wow, did you see that? Oh my goodness, that was insane. Well, that great big old tower of chips and gold fell down and it trick shot that tower of gold into the play field. And that tower of $10,000 chips that was on the left. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting that to happen at all. That was insane. I'll have to play that in slow motion for y'all later on whenever I'm editing. Remind me to do that down in the comments. I might forget. Nah, I won't forget. That was too good of a waterfall to forget that. And I'll definitely notice it later on whenever I'm editing. I'll hear myself talking about the slow motion thing, so it would remind me, even if I did forget, so. We'll definitely put that slow motion waterfall in there. Oh my gosh, nice, that was a boatload of chips and gold we just got. Oh yeah, nice, check that out, that red earbud is hidden in there, see that? Well, let's get that loot chute cleared out, because I want to be sure we don't lose that. All right, there we go. We're safe now, got that loot chute emptied out. Looks like a bunch of gold got stuck on the left, unfortunately. That's all right. So yeah, trick shot that tower gold into the play field. And that uh, $10,000 chip tower, that was amazing. And that other $10,000 chip tower on the right, it's moving also. So I think we should go ahead and stack this thing up with quarters on that right side. Get a large base of quarters built up behind that tower. I'd say all those chips and the gold bars on the left side are going to fall up there regardless. So yeah, hope y'all are doing good and having a wonderful day so far. Remember, if this is your first time watching and you're enjoying the content, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. It would help out tremendously. We're on the road to 140,000 subscribers. My goal is to get there by the end of this month, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, also, let's try to get 10,000 likes on this video right here. 10,000 likes. I know we can accomplish that. I just need everybody watching to hit that like button. It's 100% free. It doesn't cost you anything at all. And I will reward you all for hitting that like button. If we can get 10,000 likes within 24 hours, of this video right here being uploaded, I will do a half a billion dollar buy-in tomorrow. How does that sound? So a $500 million buy-in, but only if the video can get 10,000 likes within 24 hours of it being uploaded. So for example, say I post like at 5 o'clock this evening, by tomorrow, same time 5 o'clock in the evening, if it has 10,000 likes, I'll do that. Uh, half a billion dollar buy-in so that's the only the only rule get me to 10,000 locks and I'll do that half a billion dollar buy-in so anyhow that right there was the last of our quarters so I'm probably going to try like one more round and try to get that tower and if we can't get it I'll just go ahead and cash in that uh, red earbud so anyhow let me go collect the quarters and we'll get right back to pushing alrighty I'm back so before we continue playing I'd like to go ahead and open up one of these mystery bags so let's see which one should we start with I think we should start with the yellow mystery bag first. This one feels like it's loaded up fantastically well. So let's see, hopefully there's something really, really nice and valuable in there. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got another one ounce gold bar, 15 grand in $5,000 chips, and another white dice. That's what I'm talking about. That is fantastic right there. So let's try one more round, and if we don't get that tower on the right side, I will go ahead and cash in that uh, red earbud, so stay tuned for that. 
and I'm really, really hoping they uh, rearrange that tower on the right. That way we don't have to worry about winning it. I mean, if not, we're still not going to give up till we get the whole entire machine cleared out. It would just make things a lot easier if they rearrange that tower. And it would save us a bunch of our quarters also, where we don't have to stack the quarters up trying to get the tower on the side. And I don't know what they're going to do with all that gold and chips that got stuck on the left. They may build all that into a brand new tower, or they may uh, count it as a win. Who knows? Yeah, this has been a spectacular game today. And also, getting back to talking about what I was saying a few minutes ago about hitting that like button and subscribing and stuff. It is 100% free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I don't get paid any money when y'all hit the subscribe button or hit the like button. I mean, in reality, it just makes it a million percent easier for y'all to keep up with future videos. Because once you hit that subscribe button, there should be a bell icon right next to it. And if you hit that bell icon, it will give you the option to turn on all notifications. And if you turn on all notifications, you will get notified on your phone, TV, laptop, computer, iPad, tablet, whatever device you're watching my videos on. You will get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. And I pretty much post videos seven days a week, so don't miss out on any phenomenal content. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. And that's another thing I'd like to talk about. I noticed a lot of y'all don't have that bell icon turned on. So pretty much all it does, if you enable that bell icon, you will get a pop-up on your phone, computer, whatever device you're watching the videos on. It will say a and Cornbusher posted a brand new video. And you can just click on that and it will take you right to my brand new video. But if you don't have that bell icon turned on, then uh, say I post it at 7 o'clock in the evening, right? Sometimes it takes like 5 or 10 minutes before that video shows up on YouTube. So if you want to be the first to watch the brand new videos, be sure you have that bell icon turned on. You have to subscribe to turn the bell icon on. So... Hit that subscribe button and turn on the post bell notifications. Like I said, it just makes it a lot easier for y'all to keep up with future videos. And it helps me out in the process, so it's up to you. That tower on the right side is being a little bit stubborn. Then again, I guess we're not really stacking up the quarters, so... I don't know, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it quits right there, but first, before I cash in that red earbud, we got to open up that sky blue mystery bag, so let's do that real quick, see if there's anything nice and valuable in there. You can kind of see through this one, I think there's a couple dice in there, I'm pretty sure, pretty certain of it anyway, so let's see. What do we get? Oh my goodness, wow, check this out, we got two more white dice, that is spectacular. Definitely going to make over $20 million today, plus we're going to make back all that money that we lost earlier today, so that's not bad, not bad at all. So let's cash in that red earbud and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a and Coin Busher has her turn, let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that red earbud, they took all those chips and gold that was in there, and combined them all into one great big old tower back there on the pressure, so... Wish me good luck. Hopefully we can get the whole entire machine cleared out now. So after we get that tower to crash down and win all those chips and gold out of there, that will be the end of the game. We don't have any more uh, chips, special chips we could cash in. So, Oh my gosh, nice. There we go. We got all those $10,000 chips. So I think we do need to push on that uh, right-hand side. That way those skull bars don't end up going over to there to the corner. Because if they went over there to the corner, it might take a little while for them to go. And I'd like to get it all cleared out of there as soon as possible. Because I've been here about 12 hours now. And I have to go home, edit this video. Try to have it on there by like 5 o'clock this evening. Or 5.15. Come on, big money, give me something. Oh yeah, whole bunch of gold about ready to go. That might get it all out of there right there. Oh, it was close. That push right there might have it. Nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely remarkable. This has been a magnificent game today.
absolutely magnificent so now i'm going to call them back here i think we've won 12 dice in total we got seven of the white dice and five of the gold dice they will put all 12 of them dice back there on the pusher we got to roll them on down to that lower shelf whatever they land on we get to multiply our winnings and our gold by those numbers so let's call them back here and we'll get right back to pushing all righty andy coin busher has returned let's get right back to pushing so i called them over here they put all 12 of them dice back there on the pusher and they put the two baby dice on the blue shelf. So just a reminder, those two baby dice on the blue shelf is automatically 10 times my winnings. So whatever all those white dice total up to, just add 10 onto that. That's what we get to multiply our winnings by. So, oh my gosh, nice. Well, most of them dice landed on some pretty good numbers right there. It looks like we got three ones. The ones do not count at all, just pretend the ones don't exist, but the rest of them are doing phenomenal, though. we still got three more white dice to roll. Oh my goodness. we got a two and a six. Let's see what them other two dice are going to land on. And we do have to be pretty careful, because if any of the dice fall over the edge or down the gutters, we'd lose them. So I think we're going to go ahead and call it quits right there. That's not bad. Most of them dice landed on some pretty good numbers. So I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our goal by all of that, and I'll let y'all know what we've won back from a $20 million buy-in. Be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely insane. I ended up winning $12,419,000 in chips, and all those white dice combined, including the baby dice on the blue shelf, ended up multiplying my winnings by 24 and in total, I ended up winning $298,056,000 from a $20 million buy and That is absolutely outstanding right there. That's another huge life-changing jackpot win today. Absolutely mind-blowing. And on top of that, we won 291 ounces of gold. And all those gold dice combined ended up multiplying the gold by 17. And in total, I ended up winning 4,947 ounces of gold today. And we're going to multiply that by 1,945 because that's the spot price of gold at the moment. So that means we got an extra $9,621,915 in gold today. That is absolutely miraculous right there. So that's not bad, not bad at all for a $20 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's episode, be sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. So if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of videos, that will appear on the right hand side of the screen. And if you want to check out the previous video, that will appear on the left hand side of the screen. And if you want to subscribe, you can click that button up top there to subscribe. So anyhow, I'll see y'all on the next video. Y'all take care and have a wonderful day.